my team turn. Take me out on the water. We eat fishing. Way out in the woods. Where the breathing is easy, the living is good. And welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. Today's program is brought to you by the Badger Sportsman Magazine, Artline Barrels, Warrior Boats, Big Snow Resort, Wings Over Wisconsin, Mike's Country Meats, Midwest Shooter Supply, Burger Smokehouse, Delco, Vexlar, The Guillotine by Rutfin, Karsten, Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle, Come Along Measuring Tools, Commick Law Firms, Norm's Egg, and Jiffy. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. Holy moly. I'll tell you that. Look at that. I did all his mouth. You did? You did good. You got him out of the hole. Nice job. Okay, release them out. You are tough. Anybody puts their fingers in, in a mouth of a walleye, man, Watch you're like foot. steel. Watch the hey, I'll tell you what. Welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors, and we decided to come out and do a little afternoon fishing and into the evening out here on Beaver Dam. You know, we were out here this summer in late fall, and I'll tell you, the fishing was absolutely fantastic. The best walleye fishing that I've seen on this body of water in quite a while. A lot of different sizes, two different year classes. So we decided to come out here and do a little bit of ice fishing. And typically when I've ice fished this body of water, different than in the summer, it's been more of an evening bite. So what we're gonna do is we're setting up guillotines and tip-ups and basically uh, a lot of live bait. We've got uh, some of the guillotines with spoons on them too, uh, with minnow heads and I've got some jigging repellas uh, on here too. So we're kind of mixing up, but you know, again, this bite typically just about now just starts. We got out here about a half hour ago, got all our stuff set up and uh, we got a big crew of guys, really good people out here. Got my buddy Wyatt here, right? He doesn't say a lot, but he is a fishing machine. And I'll tell you, I got a feeling we're gonna have a really good night, huh, Wyatt? It's gonna be good. See, he even agrees with me. Hey, so stay tuned. Let's see what happens tonight out here on Beaver Dam. Ooh. Oh, nice. There you go. Hey, on the guillotine too. Lance, on the guillotine. Look at that. Nice. Uh, Sweetest pimple. No, oh, cast master. Guillotine and the cast master. I'm telling you, from the other day catching lake trout, now catching walleyes on the guillotine. Unbelievable, this thing. Just open up my soda can. I think Smith was over here. Payback time. Oh, here we go. Guillotine, I'll tell you what. A lot of running going on. See there? Oh, yeah, there he is. Hey, Lance! Not quite as big as yours, but still a nice fish. 
You know, that's the interesting part about this system here is uh, it's got this 18 inch size limit, three fish, and uh, like typically this is probably 15, 15 and a half incher, and a good one of bagel fish. There we go, thank you. Nice fish, let them go. Another one for the guillotine. Yeah! you what, you just caught a dandy on the guillotine. Looks like you got a decent one on here too, huh? Oh, there he is, right there. That's a nice fish. Got him, Lance? Yep, there we go. Nice one. Hold that one up. Oh, Boy, I can't believe the build on these fish. Now, you fished this all summer, didn't you? Yeah. And it was good fishing. This is 18 inches. 18 inch. <laughs> you got, you can tell just by looking at him. <laughs> that's a nice fish. He actually looks like he's even bigger than 18. That's a nice fish. No, I, uh, I took my... I took my teeth there. We can try it again. Measure that one up. Yeah, I mean, I, I'd say that's 18 and a half, is what I'm going to say. Let's see. Well, it's going towards 18 and a half. Ah, yeah, I was right. 18 and a half. Good fish. All right, let's get that tip up. Back down. Back down. Good work. Right, thank you, guys. Here, thank you. Feels like a good one, yeah. Oh, yeah full and dragon, everything. Oh, nice fish. Thank you. Nice. Nice walleye. 20 inch here, probably. Can't even tell you what spoon that is. What program were you running? Uh, I was running uh, 15 with a, uh, just a middle head. Pretty farming the beaver dams right now. I'd say it's uh, been a little slow on this end down here, but uh, you guys up north uh, to the west there, they've been doing really well. And uh, I think they actually had another plague over there, so. Picking up. Yeah. It's all we can hope for. Going. Yeah. I do need that little head back now, though. Nice <laughs> fish. There's one. Boy, I'll tell you what. Hey, we were catching trout a couple weeks ago. Now, walleyes. Feel like a good, better fish? We so caught a lot soon of small as it got ones. Dark. Yeah, that's the way this lake is, though, you guys. This is de definitely a night lake. Boy, he definitely was pulling a little bit of light. Oh, that is a good one. A little line up. Ooh. Where is he? Oh yeah, that's a nice fish. Yep, there you go. Hold that one up. Now that's a good fish. Now this lake has got a beaver dam, got an 18 inch size limit. I'll put the guillotine back in here. That one's gonna make it, Larry. That is definitely a nice fish. Hey, I'll tell you what, Kurt. One of these days, we gotta get Luke and Noah back out fishing here. I know they're probably not too happy about us fishing all the time now and they unfortunately they got school they have school right but they get off starting on friday well so, that's a good deal yeah he called today when we got out here and said dad how far is school <laughs> from where you are can mom bring me in? a I little said, little too oh, far but i love you but it's a little bit too far that's a nice fish right there it's a darn nice fish all right another fish on the guillotine we got a little battle going on tonight tip ups against the guillotines so let's see what happens all right Feels like a good one. one there, Dan? Yep. Oh, nice fish. Nice oh, there fish. we go. Oh. All right. That's a beauty. Oh, we'll put a tape a measure to that, but I'm sure we're over 18. Yeah, I think 18 so, too. On that one. You just yeah. had one out here that was 17 and yep, a half, too, didn't you? Yep, yep. Might be sliding out this way. He might <laughs> have company. Yep, exactly. So, all right. Well, very good. Put a tape measure on her and see what we have. You all right with that, Dan? Yep. Yep. Pretty nice one. Hold, Hold on. on. Hold on. Hold on. He is fast. Hold on. Whoa, slow down. Whoa! Oh, look at that. Good job, buddy. Oh, my. My, you my, my. Look Ooh, Lance, what do you think about this? Is that your biggest walleye of the year, Wyatt? Hey. Yeah. Hey, Lance. Give him a kiss. This awesome or what? Lance, I was just thinking about something. What's that? We could use another guy helping us all winter. I think so. You think we could get Wyatt to kind of skip school all winter long and help us? He hasn't had gloves on all evening. He here. is tougher than, look at yeah. me. <laughs> he is tougher than nails. I'll tell you what. I need what? a 
Hey, hey White, why don't you hold the fish up? Hold the fish, hold the fish up, up to the up camera there. for a minute. Yep, look at that. Man, nice job. I love to see that. That's what it's all about. Got him. Got him. Got him. Hey, White, you're letting your dad take one. Oh, that's Ooh, a nice, nice fish. Ooh, nice fish. Boy, I'll tell you, it's amazing, Owen, how many fish they're getting tonight that are in that 18, 19 inch range. And I know John got one that was over 20 before. That is definitely another nice fish. Right. There is definitely a good year class in this lake right now. That's been really slow for the last two or three years out okay. here. And that's kind of how it goes too, isn't yeah, right. it? You know, but most there, bodies of water are like that. It's gonna should stay good for a while. There's a lot of a lot of decent like from six inch to fourteen inch fish. There should be a couple. We kind of noticed that tonight. You know, earlier when it was light out, we were catching a lot of them six to ten inch walleyes. You know, right. and then once it start getting darker, we start popping a few legal fish. Right. And now it's been, I would say, half and half. You know, right. so which is pretty good. Dad? All right. Good job. Bye, keeper. Oh, we'll see. You. you don't want to keep that fish, do you? You oh, do? You are now. <laughs> I, I, think some, I think some little boy wants a fish fry one of these nights. He does. There's nothing wrong with that. No. Nope. Oh, it's spinning. Hey, Steve, you got one going? Yeah, pretty nice yeah, one. It feels like Larry. Oh, and just got a piece of oh, one. I got the button here. Oh, that, that's a real nice fish. Can you, far, far. can you grab them there? There we go. Oh, Another. <laughs> Another nice one. You know, I was just talking to Owen and Wyatt and telling them that it seems like, you know, early to, when we first got out here, before it got dark, most of the fish we were catching were in that, you know, 6 to 12 inch range. And then as it got, started getting a little bit darker, just the fish started getting bigger. And now I would say over over half the fish we're catching are legal fish. Yeah, nice fish. Yeah, that's this is very interesting. There's got to be plenty of forage in here. Look at the girth on them yeah. fish, too. Yeah. You know, you don't see a lot of lakes that we fish, like on the Winnebago system, that are really that you catch a lot of fish at night at. Most of the stuff, you know, is a daytime bite. So it's interesting to have this nighttime bite like this. Has it always been this way? Always. Jeez. I mean, we've been getting a few more, you know, in the daytime, but most of it's an hour after dark. Okay. I don't even know what time it is right now. We've been having too much fun. <laughs> I like it like that. Yeah. Let me go get you a minnow. Awesome. Larry, come on. All right, White, hang on. Got him? You gonna take this one by yourself? Okay. You oh, feel him? Oh. oh, you got him. There you go. Nice slow down just a little bit. Get him the hole. There you go. Keep throwing your line. Oh, oh, that's a good fit. Wyatt, you know what? Hey, Wyatt, when you work for us this winter, how much am I gonna have to pay you? Um, 400. Any 400, what, a week or a day? A day. Oh my gosh, you're gonna be making more than Lance. Holy cats. Well, I suppose you'll probably work twice as hard as Lance, too, so not a bad Dutch idea. Gut. Dutch gut. Oh, we'll get that one out. Yep, we'll get it. Nice job. 400 a day he wants, huh? I was going to bring you a minnow yeah. until that comment, Larry. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what, Kurt. You know, the, the, the wind really is blowing and that snow is drifting like crazy. And look out your hole. That pump is keeping that hole open like that just even from that snow blowing in there yeah when we got out here larry it was warm enough that we didn't need the pump okay but we realized right away when we got here because the wind was blowing so hard that it was blowing snow in our hole and you put the pump on it Boy. circulates that water yep. and makes that snow just melt right in there that that is absolutely sweet hey so far uh we're not doing too bad no let's keep going and they got us outnumbered on tip ups big time yeah we just got to get better this four inches of ice here we keep knocking them off <laughs> Rookies. 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 Hey, I'll tell you what, this week's tip of the week is brought to you by our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats there in Tigerton, the finest jerky on the planet. Hey, Steve, we got a lot of wind out here today, and you're talking before about setting the proper way to set a tip up so you don't get a wind flag. Tell us how to do it. Well, Larry, if you just take it yep. and you actually cross set it like that. You're set on the bottom and on the top. I, you know what? I've had tip-ups all my life, and honestly, I did not know that. Good tip, Steve. I'll take that any day of the week. Hey, awesome. you know what? And I'll tell you what. This guy has got the best apple orchard there is. I'll tell you that. Goltz's apple orchard. Yep. Just like our camera guy, Dan Goltz. Be open in August. Right? 
Hey, I'll tell you what, thanks to our good friends at Mike's Country Meats, the finest jerky on the planet. Is he there? <laughs> Holy cats. Steve-O! I thought you said there was nothing there! Look at all the There's some weight there, ain't wow. there? Look, look at all the line that that fish has got on, too. You didn't have much confidence going up to that flake. Oh, there you go. Ooh, that's oh, nice. Oh, nice. nice. Yeah, and that could have been Lance's. That's too big for Lance, anyway. That's nice. Right. Look at that. <laughs> nice fish right there, for sure. Let's let her. Let her do her thing. Yep. Nice job. All right. Good work, dude. Good job. Good way. Ready? Get him. Oh, look at that one. What do you think of that, bud? Good. Hold him up. Got another one over there. You know, it's nice to see some smaller fish too. We've caught in the last hour a lot of fish in that 18 to 20 inch range. That's probably what, 15 inch yeah, there. 15. Pretty nice, you know. Yeah. Hey, I'll tell you what, again, back. it's very interesting to see that guillotine. And uh, you caught that one on a jig yeah. and wrap, huh? Yeah, it's one of uh, one of the options for night. You can still start pumping jig and wrap spoons or whatever with the tip of the minnow head. And, Pump them through the night and you can still catch walleyes on them. You know, the nice part is that you can fish so many different spots with a bait like that yeah. versus yep. sitting in, or jumping from hole to hole. You know, if you got two guillotines and you got one rod in your hand to go around, you just cover so much more water, you oh, know? Yeah, absolutely. And the preciseness, you know, like we've talked over and over, Keith, about the guillotine. It's just amazing how when you're jigging, and the machine is jigging, how much more precise it is and how many more fish it catches than you. Yeah, abso absolutely. I mean, I mean, it's pretty much the only product on the market where you can effectively jig a jig and wrap. A lot of jigging devices out there, but the way this thing can jig a jig and wrap spoon is very much like a human, so it gives you that advantage. You know, and if people want to check this out, well, how can they find out more about it? Um, you can go online at rut-fin.com or you can check us out on Guillotine on Facebook and uh, both spots. Give us a call. Our number's on there. If you want any questions about the product, give us a call. We'll be happy to talk about it. Awesome. Hey, let's catch some more. Yeah, absolutely. All right, keep her going. Might hey, mean, what do you got going on here? Definitely getting my exercise tonight. Yeah. And I'll tell you that. Looks like a decent one, Larry. There you oh, go. Yeah. Oh, that's a decent fish. Not too bad, there, bud. You know. Boy, I'll tell you what, I don't mind this night fishing at all yeah. because there's plenty of action. It's fun, something different. It is. You a lot know, of tip-ups. We're used to jigging. Yeah, we are. You know, and that's kind of the cool part. It's always nice to fish a different body of water. Typically, this is not a body of water that you and I guide on at all. We just come over here and do some fishing, yep. bring a bunch of friends, and, and enjoy it, you know. Uh, it's not too often that we get a, a chance to come out and, and uh, actually do some fishing on our own, you know, besides right. the guiding part. But, yeah, this is a, a great time. You know, I'll tell you. It's really cool when you see a young guy like Wyatt yeah, that's you know, a blast, get yeah. a nice fish like that one he just caught there, too. All right, is that going to be 18? I don't think so. It'll be a little shy. Yeah, a little shy. I'll tell you what, Rob. Our percentages for fish that are over 18 have been pretty good. I'm thinking yeah, we're at about 70%. Ooh, that's a dandy. It is another yeah. one, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's a nice Woo. one. That is another nice fish. 
Beauty. You know, again, we caught so many of these fish open water fishing this year. It was hard to believe, you know, I mean, we came out here and did a lot of casting and uh, just with cranks and some plastics and we were catching fish like this, you know, that's what made us decide to come out here and try this yeah. winter fishing out here. Yeah, that's a nice Mine fish. Nice, another nice fish. one. Yeah. Yours was fatter, <laughs> what? Yeah. If you think so, huh? Well, who am I to argue with you, yeah, boy? That's right, I can believe you. So, All right, let's uh, okay. I'll get you a middle. Okay, well, well, a couple more of these, and I think uh, we'll be ready to call her tonight. Yeah, it's been a good night. Yes, it has. Hey, I'll tell you what, we had an awesome night up here on Beaver Dam fishing. You know, and what it's all about is, you look behind me, great group of guys fishing out here. We had a great time, caught a ton of fish, got to put the guillotine to the true test, and uh, you know what? what? Hey, why are you still awake? Yeah. Oh, you didn't fall asleep yet? You know what? And Wyatt caught a, some really nice fish tonight. You had fun, didn't you? Yeah. You got to skip out of school a couple hours early. That wasn't so bad either, huh? No, that's awesome. Hey, I'll tell you what, you know, make sure you guys check us out on all our social media avenues, especially our new website, LarrySmithOutdoors.com. And uh, hey, why, you know when, you know when do we know it's time to go home? You know? When your mom calls and says, hey, we got to get Wyatt home and get him in bed. It's, it's almost past your bedtime, isn't it? It is. I'm ready for you know what? That. I'm going to say, I'm going to tell you one more thing before we let everybody go. You and Lance got one thing in common that for sure. You both are lack of words. For sure. Right? Right? I wonder yeah. both. I wonder either one of you guys has a girlfriend, which is okay. <laughs> hey, you know, like I always say, I'm glad you guys enjoyed our show this week. And just remember, what a great night to be alive. What is that thing? Oh, a big old chump. I'm like, what? I would have put him on there. Oh, right away, right away. I catch one fish and these guys are after me.